this is Texas right here, basically. So this is like stone, it's going to Florida. It's going to the Orlando area, actually. I never go to Florida though. So this is the load, it's all strapped down. Y'all wanna see Florida? We're going to the beach actually. I think we're going to like Cocoa Beach. test of the air because these these already blew out on me so we take the air gauge i mean it's pretty simple we're sitting at 110 so that's about right 115 so that's good and then we can there's two tires so you hit the um the inside one is in here okay so you're gonna go boom where we at beautiful baby we got a guy parking next to us Beautiful. This is how we're looking up top. All right, we got rocks. This is Walmart. I mean, it's pretty normal. Nothing really special, so this is about it. You wanna see the price of meat? 922. This is what I get. So it's 11. That's really expensive. That's about 1100 rubles, right? Probably 1300 rubles. Something like that. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid 70s. Sunday, mostly sunny. A 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the lower 90s. Sunday night, partly cloudy with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the evening, and mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. All right, Lows in the lower 70s. All right, it's starting to get hot, so we're about to roll out. We got some groceries from Walmart um, here in Terrell, Texas. I didn't know that this was open. This is awesome. Great. So this is the refrigerator. It's hard to find good underwear nowadays, especially at Walmart. I can't, I mean, obviously if I ordered online, I could get it, but um, I can't order online because I'm on the road. 
So I'm gonna put this away real quick. Let me see if I can fit all this in the fridge. This is the fridge that I got, it's pretty big. So I mounted it up here. There's two straps. This is the microwave that's mounted in here too. I had to buy them. I had to, um, well, I bought them, but I got reimbursed for the money, but the pain in the, you know, installing it was the pain in the butt, which is so annoying. And I installed it into the other truck. So I had to switch. I had to install it first on that other truck while I had food poisoning. And then, um, and then when I switched trucks, I had to install it into this one. But the second time was pretty, it was easier than the first time. I got carrots, fire roasted carrots. So yeah, I try to eat, we try to eat um, healthily as possible uh, while on the road. And then we exercise as well while we're on the road. So I'm gonna fit this in here, boom. We're gonna put this in here. Check it out, boom. I'm gonna put that in there, yeah. We can fit this right here. We can put this right there. Boom. Oh yes, we can fit it all. We can fit it all. Beautiful, beautiful. Everything fit, everything fit in there. Nice. The only thing I need to attach is like, you can put like a Velcro thing here. So um, it'll it'll Velcro shut or something like that. And then this is my bed. I got a pair of pants from Walmart. These are like 10 bucks. And those are my favorite pants. And I got some socks so I can wear with my Crocs. I got two high vis shirts. These get dirty so fast. So I got, I have to be careful to not get them dirty. And then so I keep my bags in here. Hold on a second. Okay, so I did get some candy. I have a sweet tooth to be honest, but the rule is if I if I eat something like this, then that just means uh, I can only have one meal a day. So I have all kinds of weird like eating disorder. I think I have like a pretty, pretty sure I have like eating disorder type of thing because Russians are like, oh, you're obsessed with exercise, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, well, you know, whatever. So this is my bed and uh, it's all right. So what I do is I go in here. I have all kinds of crap in here. I have bags, garbage bags. So I have Febreze. And then what I'll do is I'll spray this nice. I'll spray it like that. I got my water up here. And then I'll spray up here. I'll spray this, you know, close that. Boom, spray the seat. So it smells nice and good in here. And then I have my own cologne. And I'll spray myself. And I still have to like, I'm gonna show you what I do here. This is like too much information, but hey, y'all want to see what I do, so I'm gonna show you. Um, okay, so that's close. So now the floor is kind of dirty a little bit. It gets pretty much, it gets dirty like every day. So I'm gonna show you what I do. I have this right here that this was actually left in the truck. So I'm just gonna, it's some orange cleaner, but if I didn't have this, I would just use glass cleaner. I would use glass cleaner for everything because I could use it on the windows and I could use it on the, and then I could use it on everything. Basically, all I need is a little bit of whatever, something wet. So I have my paper towels in here. I don't keep much on the truck. I'm very, very minimal, but what I do, I make the most out of it. So sometimes I use baby wipes. I use baby wipes. I can wipe myself with baby wipes and sometimes I'll wipe the truck with the same baby wipes because I'm trying to make the most out of every thing that I have. So we're gonna move that, boom. So then we switch positions here. So I, um, I don't sleep with the truck turned on, so I keep the windows open sometimes and obviously that brings in a bunch of dust sometimes, but I really don't like to idle the truck because these stupid trucks, they have DEF systems. So if you idle them, it builds up soot and then it has to do all this kind of stuff. And it's just more of a chance that there's gonna be something that goes wrong. So I'd rather when I'm shut down at night to not idle the truck. And I feel a lot better when I don't idle, even though it's a little hot or whatever. So this is what I do all the time. 
it's just 10 times more annoying to film it <laughs> so i'm gonna show you this is how i get down man it's so hot it's just getting hotter let me see if i can set up the camera here Set up the camera. Can I put it here? Yeah, let me put it here so that way. Okay, all right. So you can see. So I co I close the curtain now, right? I close the curtain. So here's what I can do. Like, okay, I can't shower right this second, right? So what can we do? So back here, I have my bag. mouthwash mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we could just use an empty container to spit out point is like you know you just be creative and even though you don't have perfect circumstances some people would never do this in their truck that's not me i do this all the time some people like would never would only wash themselves in a in like a a legit full like bathroom toilet or whatever not me i'll do it right in here i'll take a full shower in here so you spit in the thing and then you just get a little bit of um like i have my water so i'll just like yeah i would just normally i would just put a little bit of water on there but you could just do it dry like boom all right right through your teeth mm-hmm When the cameras, when it's recording, I feel like I have to do everything super fast. This is so like TMI right now. And then I, I wash it, I wash it with some water here. with the same water. So this is what you do if you're like in a big rush or or you just you you 
just need to do it, but you don't have a chance to go to a, it's like a temporary little refreshment. You just splash some water on your face, you know, get the towel. And it makes you feel a whole lot better. In the military, you call it a combat shower. Oh man. lipstick um I got this trick from a foreign dude from a guy who gave me a taxi ride in Russia when I went there I think the last time yeah the last time um he took cologne and he sprayed it in the air conditioning vents that's a good idea actually Jet Black Reserve, baby. This is like, I mean, it's whatever. It's cold. It's fine. So we're good to go. Mm-hmm. Brush the hair. You want to stimulate the, you want to stimulate your circulatory system with the brush, right? All right, I guess. So give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're as ready as we're gonna be right now. Like we're we're good to go. We're good to go. So we're about to roll out here. All I gotta do is check, um, set my GPS, and we only have five hours to roll. So that's all we got. We're gonna see what we're gonna do here. We're gonna pass through Shreveport, Louisiana, which is like a really notoriously dangerous town. So yeah. And um, so I, I'm gonna film me rolling out, okay? So y'all can see that. Let me see. I'm gonna film me rolling out. And then we'll grab lunch later. y'all think about this these two rvs are like bigger than my truck these things are monster size rvs they look nice but um the american thing is to work retire and then when you're retired you buy one of these things these things are, are crazy expensive i should look up the price of these so they retire and then they basically just drive around the country which is basically what i do i drive around the country they have to pay for parking and in my in my opinion it's like super i mean it just it don't make no sense to me i i it's, it just seems really retarded to work until you're 65 buy one of these things these things are so expensive and then you're just gonna drive around the country you're gonna drive around i mean he's at a rest area with me like 
I don't I wish I, I wish I could understand I don't know you know I think maybe like I think overall it's just a stupid idea what do y'all think mm -hmm.